Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, my name is uh, José Barbosa. I'm from Portugal. I love metal, as you could already hear. Uh, thank you for the sound. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I'm here to present a session about uh, Synapse Link to SQL. Okay, uh, who in here uses Synapse? Whoa. Okay, thank you. So, uh, just before I start, uh, I want to just to tell you that I'm a, a company, a Portuguese company called uh, Devscope. Okay, and uh, we are uh, we have a booth downstairs. If you all could go there when you leave from here. Are you guys fan of Mandalorian? No, no fans of Mandalorian. So if you are fans of Mandalorian, that's another reason you go to our booth down there. We have a surprise for you. Uh, not much effort to get it. Okay. Okay. To the session, synapse links to SQL. I only have 20 minutes to talk about this. It's short, but uh, I will try to do it. And I will also try to do. Uh, Demo live session, okay? Live, uh, live data, uh, live demo. Hope it, it it goes okay. So agenda. So I'm going to tell you what it is. Uh, what do I need to bring it up? Serial action, some features, and then how you do it yourself. So, what is it? Uh, Azure Synapse link to SQL. So this is basically a replication or ingestion uh, service. And the idea in here is that you can bring data from uh, your transactional uh, databases, be it in uh, on-prem or Azure environment. And that is your source. The destination is or has to be a dedicated SQL pool in Azure Synapse Anal Analytics. Okay. So. What problem is, uh, are we trying to solve here? So the problem is that mostly you guys uh, um, have to build pipelines to bring uh, your operational data from your operational databases into uh, analytics. Okay, you have to build a pipeline, do the extract, the transform, uh, the load. Sometimes this is a barrier. We don't have time for that. Okay, so. Synapse link is here to help you, to assist you on reduce this time to market, let's call it like this, this time to analytics uh, being reduced. So what is needed for us to build this? Uh, if you are in the SQL Server 2022 on-prem, what do you need is these things in here, which is the Synapse workspace, of course, a linked service to, to the source database, in this case, a SQL Server on-prem, uh, an Azure Synapse Analytics dedicated SQL pool, an Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2. This, is, this, will be, this storage will be your landing zone, okay? Data coming from the, the source database, landing in a storage uh, zone, and then will be picked up by the service. Then you need, of course, the linked service to that landing zone, and the SASH token to that landing zone. I think you guys uh, know this. And of course, a self-hosted integration runtime for you who is working with ADF and things like that. You know, if you are going on-prem, you always need a self-hosted integration runtime. If we are going to use or get data from uh, Azure SQL DB, you, you don't need that landing zone, okay? The landing zone will be managed by Microsoft in this case. And uh, you only need the Synapse workspace, the linked service to source database, and the Azure uh, Synapse Analytics, SQL dedicated pool. Okay. So uh, let's go for a demo. I already have provisioned all the environment needed. So you guys see it well, I think. Okay. Uh, Everything that I need is already provisioned in this uh, resource group, my, uh, my Synapse workspace, et cetera. All, all the things that I stated before on that slide are already in here. I'm going straight to the, to the workspace, to the Synapse workspace. And where do we find uh, this new facility? So we go in here in the integrate area, 
Okay? And I already have in here two links, one for the cloud and another for on-prem. On-prem is our SQL 2022. The cloud is a SQL Azure uh, database. They are already provisioned, and I already have one table for each one in here. Okay? Uh, this takes all, some time to provision. The, I, I'm not going to provision a new one in here. I don't have time for that. But I will show you how to do it, how easy it is to do this. So in the integrate area, we go in here plus, and we have this new thing, link connection. Okay? When we are in here, you have two sources available. One is Azure SQL database. The, one, the other one is SQL Server. This is the on-prem on version, okay? You have to have a linked service for this, and now this is a, the, the thing that you, you have to be aware. I already created a source link. I can create a new one. Uh, and in here, the, the thing that you have to take care of is that you can't use a auto resolve integrator runtime. You have to create a new one, okay? I have already one in here. It, it has to be self-hosted, okay? If you go in here, you have Azure, you have self-hosted, you have to select self-hosted, okay? I won't go forward from here. If you select this one, then you will get an, uh, an Express installer that you can use. It's very easy to use. You will be installing what, what is needed on the, source, on the server in the source database, and everything will be up and running, okay? I won't do that because it, it, it always takes uh, a while. On the other end, if you don't want to, uh, let me just cancel this. If if this is for on-prem, okay. If you want to use Azure, okay, you you follow the same procedure. In here, the difference is that you can use Auto Resolve. You are in the in the net, so in the in the cloud, sorry, and you just uh, give the the, the Auto Resolve integration runtime. It will work. Then the from that beyond, you only have to provide credentials, okay, for your for your sources, okay. So I, I will discard. This is this is live, so I hope everything goes okay. I have two tables being synchronized. Uh, uh, nothing very special, okay. This one is Azure. is from Azure Source. If I run this, I have a couple of rows in here. You can see. Uh, 12 rows. This is from the on-prem source. So Link is bringing this to me already. And this one has two rows in here. How do I, how do I know this is uh, currently syncing? I go in monitor, in the monitor area, and I have my link connections in here, okay? Both of them. The one that is for the cloud, the one that is from, for on-prem. If I click in one of them, for example, cloud, I will see my, my table in here replicating. So this area in here where you can monitor the, the replication is where you can see how is your link going in, on, on itself. So when you first bring a table to here, it will be this state in here, this status, will be snapshotting, OK? Because first time will be a full import. Be aware of that, OK? Full import. Uh, after that, it will be replicating, replicating changes, changes uh, be it insert, delete, update, okay? So, but be aware of the first step. Once you bring a table to here, first step is full, okay? So, and this is true either for the Azure or for the on-prem, okay? So, don't be scared, I will show <laughs> SSMS. So uh, two squares in here. I have uh, on the on the left side. Okay, <laughs> I have the Azure table that is on the other side. If, if I select in here, just to show you, I have the same 12 records. Okay, and I'm going to insert just a little more. Okay, I'm going I'm going slowly because I I don't rely on the on the net in here. Okay, slowly. Two records on the uh, Azure table, and uh, Okay, two records on the on-prem table. I do this on the on the server side, on-prem, okay, this one in here. I do this Azure side. 
Let's go to our link and see how it goes. So in here, nothing changes, OK? It's still replicating, OK? Of course. We are, and this, this replica is, uh, maybe, maybe some of you know, it's uh, based on CDC, OK? Change Data Capture, OK? It's, it's getting your information. Uh, let me see if uh, our data has arrived already. So I go in here into my, my pool. And uh, remember, I put uh, two more records in here. So it should be about how much? Come on. 14. 14, yeah. Let me see if, if the data has arrived. Yes, 14 rows. There you go. And on the other side, anyone? How much rows? I forgot already. Where? Two more rows. We have two. Now we have four. So it works, OK? It's working. This is a great thing, OK? <laughs> Online, live, it's good. So I'm, I'm going a, a little bit further. You guys are going to trust me that it does update and delete also, OK? I can do that. I don't know. It's going so well. I'm going to update uh, record 10. Just change in description over there. And in here, in the on-prem, I'm going to update uh, record 3. So 10, Azure, 3, on-prem. Let us go to the other side. I'm risking everything. Yeah, look, already arrived. This is not a, a screenshot, OK? Look. So I believe on this side, no, is that, it doesn't it doesn't synchronize yet from the the on-prem. We'll wait for a while. But I can assure you, if 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 it did the insert, it will, it will also do the update. So more. Now, let's go a step further. I want to have a new table. So my link is running, and I'm going to push more tables into here. How how should I do that? I go into the once again. Uh, in integrate area, go to my link and click new table, okay? And automatically, we are connected to the other side, and you already see warnings in you. Oh, the guy is going wrong over there. No. This is, there, there are some uh, restrictions to the kind of tables you can bring to the, to the link, okay? Your tables must obey uh, a certain, uh, certain rules. Uh, be it, uh, uh, for example, you have to have a key to make the merge, okay, or make the, you are merging data. So you have to have, have a key. You, have, you can have certain types, certain data types also. So that's because, and that's why uh, there are some errors in here. These tables are not compliant for the link, okay? Let's bring this, this one is, okay. I can preview data in here. Let's risk another thing more. I can preview data that I'm going to bring, okay? So, uh, table zero two, just add this one. And if we go to monitor, fast, fast, fast. It's not in here yet. Well, didn't didn't came alive yet. Can I, uh, anyone tell me why the table is not in here? Anyone? Anyone? No. You guys told me that you work with um, signups. You have to publish things. Okay, publish. So I'm going to publish my new added table, my new changes to the to the cloud link connection, and also in a script that I, I was running. And wait for a while. And once it's published, that's the, the effect. Well, it's published. You see this one replicating, and this one is waiting already, OK? See uh, this, this state, unknown state, OK? In a, in a few minutes or seconds, I have five minutes. Uh, this, this will be snapshotting, 
and then we'll be replicating, okay? Let's wait for a while. Okay, let's do the same in the other link. So I go in here again, integrate. I'm going to choose the on-prem link. Remember, I have two links. Before I do that, let me just tell you what you can choose when, when you are adding things, sorry, when you are adding things in here in the link. He's, he's looking for the tables, like, let's also table two. Yes. When I do this, see these options in here? When you are uh, configuring this, this area in here, the new table, you can say what's the, what's the schema, you can change it if you want to, you can change the name, and this is the distribution, okay? I can change the distribution. Remember, I'm writing to a, a dedicated SQL pool. And there are three types of, the, of, of distribution in this kind of database. And you can choose one of them. I typically leave this one. And you can also choose what, what kind of index you want. I will just leave it as a, a heap. So what do I have to do now? No, no, I have to publish, yes. So I go into monitor. Again, let me see how this thing is going on. So the one I headed to on-prem is already waiting to. And if I go to the other one in the cloud, probably is already replicating. I took too much time. I would I like to see you, the, the, you to see the snapshot. You, this is fast, OK? So. Let me see if you can see it in here. No. Let's just confirm that we have the data on the other side for the Azure. So in here, we added, remember, table uh, two. And <coughs> these are the, the records that we have on table two, 10 records. If we go in here on the Azure side, table two, I know it has 10 records. I know it has 10 records, okay? We are now synchronizing. This is how easy it is, okay? So you need a dedicated SQL pool on the destination. You need a SQL Server 2022 on-prem or a SQL uh, Azure database uh, in the cloud. These are your components uh, for the link to work. Uh, there are, the th are the other things I didn't mention. I have two minutes uh, that I, I'd like you to, to know also. And this, uh, this is the, the, the power that you can give to the link. Okay, what is this, the power? Uh, I think you can see it well. Yeah, it is this this, this uh, core count in here, okay? And you are already thinking, oh, core count, this is cost. Yeah, it is cost. <coughs> so, the more data you have to bring from your source databases, the more, the more cores you have to add in. The more cores you have in here, this is for speed, okay? Speed of processing. Of course, this, this uh, has a cost. The higher it is, it will cost you, it will cost you uh, higher too. Uh, can anyone tell me where is the other cost in here? Anyone? Where is the other cost? Storage, Storage is one, but it, there is one higher than that one, you. <laughs> yeah, dedicated SQL pool. I don't have anything to give you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, dedicated SQL pool. If you leave, dedicated SQL pool is expensive, okay? Is is an expensive destination. Uh, but. Uh, until now, this is the only destination that, is, that it is um, available. Uh, so I'm going back to the slides, because I'm almost in the end. So, yeah, in, in fact, dedicated SQL pool is expensive, but it is the only destination that, uh, that you have. Things to bear in mind, uh, stopping and restarting the link. This can take time, so be aware when you stop the link. When do we have to stop the link? If you have to change 
uh, columns in a table. You have to stop the link to change that table. I can delete data, I can insert data, I can do DDL, uh, DDL uh, uh, transformations. I have to move on, okay? This is the links for you to do it yourself. One click go link over there. Uh, and that's it. Any questions? Please give feedback on the, on the screen. Oh, the link, sorry. Okay, this is a do-it-yourself link, the first link, okay? It's one-click deployment, you can test this, okay? It can take you a while to do, but you click in there and it, go, it, it, it builds an environment like the one I was showing in here, okay? So you click and you have the environment to do the testing. So, that's it. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Microsoft states that this, as I said in the, in the beginning, uh, this is a replicating system. But for example, when you go to the, the SQL Server on-prem, uh, that integration runtime doesn't, wear, doesn't work as, as a, a normal integration runtime. What is happening is, it is a, a slightly different uh, integration runtime, and the only thing it does is pick up the data, bring it to that landing zone. And that's, that's why that, uh, your source is not that impacted. Of course, uh, I didn't mention, you have two flavors of, of integration. You can, do, you, you can do near real time or batch mode. If you do batch mode, of course, you go less times to your source, but you go to get more data, depending on your all sorts uh, changes, okay? But you go in there and get more data. But be, be, be always in, in mind that um, your data is moving so, slightly, uh, solely to the, to the landing zone, be it Azure or, or, uh, or um, on-prem. And that landing zone takes the data away or the, the away from your, your source. You, you don't have, get hammered, j just like you were saying, okay? Okay, any more questions? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>